Alright, hey everybody, hope you had a good weekend. Welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks. It's the edition for Monday evening, the 18th day of May. Here in 2020, what a day it turned out to be. Kind of an unusual weather setup. And, you know, our forecasts have evolved a lot in recent days. At this time last week, we thought this week would be warm from start to finish. Then it looked like there would be a cutoff low pressure system that would actually kind of short circuit that warm up and give us some cool damp weather for the first half of the week. Then over the weekend, that cutoff low was shown to be a little farther to the south and to the west, sparing us from a lot of the wet weather during the first half of this week, and we saw the benefits of that today. Uh, when I last worked on Friday, we thought today would be in the lower 60s. Instead, it got to 80 degrees for the first time this season, and for the first time in quite a while, we got to 80 degrees this afternoon. But notice the rain-cooled air to our east and to our west. Dubois at 72, Mansfield at 70 for the high today, while we hit 80 degrees again for the first time uh, this season. So that was definitely a welcome sight for a lot of us. It's been a nice turnaround over the last several days after stringing together several cool, clammy May days from the 4th through the 13th. Temperatures did uh, climb back into the 70s for daytime highs starting on Thursday. And while we're still running about 4.5 degrees cooler than average, that's not as big of a deficit, if you will, as we were running earlier in the month. All right, our first 80 is in the books, and it's behind schedule, of course. You look back at the last 10 years, and most of our first 80-degree temperatures occurred in the month of April. Last year it was May 1st. It was as early as March 20th, back in that very unusually warm March of 2020. The 30-year average date of the first 80 is April 22nd, so we're almost a month behind schedule. But we finally did get there today. Time lapse from our Youngstown camera today shows the clouds and even a little bit of wet weather at the start of the day today. A few raindrops on the camera lens. But then we saw increasing amounts of sunshine as we got into the second half of the day today. And where the sun broke out, temperatures blasted off quickly. It went from 70 to 80 over the matter of just a couple of hours before the clouds rolled back in late this afternoon. All right, a day like today, a lot of good news in the weather department. Uh, but if you're an allergy sufferer, this is the time of the year in which if we don't see much rain to wash away the pollen temporarily, you're going to be suffering. Uh, the pollen levels through the roof, tree pollen, grasses and weeds up there. Uh, grasses, mulberry, walnut, kind of the chief culprits here in mid-May. And all this is pretty typical of this season, as you know, if you are an allergy sufferer. All right, back here in the present this evening as of about a quarter till seven. Still a tornado watch out for parts of central Ohio, including the Columbus area, heading down towards Areas just to the east of Cincinnati and into central parts of Kentucky. And it's been a pretty big lightning show across the middle of the state and out into western Ohio, close to I-75, Lima, getting close to Toledo this evening. It's been soggy in Dayton. We uh, had a tornado warning earlier for uh, parts of the Columbus metro area that has since uh, been discontinued. And closer to home this evening, actually, before I zoom back out, let me zoom back in. I wanted to show you kind of our... A zoomed in local radar view again as of about 6:43 this evening we've had a couple of showers kind of grazing the western part of our television viewing area from newton falls down uh, through craig beach beloit sebring out towards alliance on 62 heading down towards uh, new franklin along the stark columbiana line hanoverton had a touch of rain but most of this has been out to our west this evening and that's where most of it will stay as we go through the overnight now that being said can we get grazed by the occasional shower? Yes. Now, our high-res future cast is too far east with the placement of the showers this evening. I just showed you the current radar. It's it's not doing a great job placing these showers. So take this with a bit of a grain of salt. But could there be a passing shower or two? Yes. But most of this remains out towards I-77 from Cleveland down to New Philly and points to the south and west overnight. And I do think we will start out dry tomorrow morning. Now, this upper low, it's a cutoff low. The jet stream is pushed well to our north. This thing doesn't uh, have uh, its ride anymore. It's it's cut off from the jet stream, so it's just going to kind of meander. But it's going to meander to the south and west far enough that we're likely to stay pretty dry for the next couple of days. Our forecast, again, has improved quite a bit. Another soggy day, Parkersburg, Marietta, Cincinnati, Dayton uh, for Tuesday. But uh, we will have a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures, well, not as warm as today, still pretty close to average. Wednesday will be a similar day. Now, I have opened up the chances of maybe a passing shower or two in our forecast for Thursday and Friday. But even that doesn't look like it's going to be a whole lot. Boy, good fire hose of moisture, though, aimed at parts of the eastern U.S. And where 
the southeasterly flow runs into the mountainous areas in the southern Appalachians. Yeah, there's going to be some flooding problems probably from uh, West Virginia and especially down into uh, the higher terrain of Western Virginia, Western North Carolina, maybe parts of the Smoky Mountain Range as well. All this moisture coming in off the Atlantic and bumping up into those mountains means a lot of rising air. And uh, again, flooding issues, uh, pretty good bet down there. In fact, the elevated risk of flooding continues tomorrow and right into the day on Wednesday for uh, Southwest Virginia into, uh, say, Asheville, North Carolina, heading down towards Greenville, Spartanburg, the Charlotte area. And again, because that upper low is tracking where it's tracking, not much of a big deal for us. Now, that upper low is finally going to get off the playing field eventually. It's going to meander. This is the 20th, so this is uh, coming up on Wednesday evening. You'll notice as I continue playing this forward, though, this starts to open up and gradually, gradually, it starts getting off the eastern seaboard as we head towards the upcoming weekend. And then a lot of ridging uh, shown in the atmosphere for next week. And so I think next week is going to be a pretty balmy week. Uh, nothing unusual for late May, but certainly the longest stretch of summer-like weather we've had so far this spring season. So the 8 to 14 day outlook looks like this. I think we're going to see mid-80s as early as Sunday and Monday. Of course, next Monday is Memorial Day, a week from today. And I think we'll probably see several days with highs getting into the 80s as we head into next week. So if you're a warm weather lover, if you didn't love the weather we had earlier this month, the upcoming pattern should please you. If you are not a fan of cranking up the AC, well, we're getting into the time of the year in which you're not going to be happy very often. Uh, the summer forecast, don't forget, so we'll be talking about that as we get uh, towards the end of May next week. Uh, before I have some time off, I'll probably do a summer outlook towards the end of next week. Uh, talking about June, July, August, what you can expect precipitation-wise, and will this summer be abnormal temperature-wise? I've heard a lot of people say to me, yeah, I heard it's going to be a really hot summer. Um, I'm not sure where they're getting that information, but uh, I do not expect it to be an especially hot summer this year, but I'll come out with my official summer outlook again, second half of next week. In the meantime, thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks, and enjoy the rest of your Monday night.